Hello everyone, and welcome to another Company of Heroes 2 replay cast. My name is ATR, and today we're going to have a 1v1 on Langreskaya. Our heroes today are going to be Vindicare X, playing for the Germans. And we have Helping Hans, playing for the Soviets of the Red Army. Very good players, very well known. So this should be an interesting match. So again, off the bat, we do see German player Vindicar X going for Tier 1. And from Tier 1, he is getting himself a Grenadier Squad. Helping Hans is getting himself Conscript Squad, not building any tech. Usual, same all, same all. And we do see that Northern player going for the right-hand side, Southern player going for the left-hand side. Grenadier Squad hitting the field right now. Where is it going to go? It's going for the left hand side, so yeah, we'll probably not see any engagement in the uh, immediate. Uh, what am I saying? <laughs> We're not going to see any engagement anytime soon. It'll take a little while while people are capping. Uh, we do have a second conscript squad hitting the field, and we have a second grenadier squad being produced right now. Something is hitting the field. There you go. There's the conscripts. So very nice. And over here, we have the grenadiers. Uh, Pioneers going a little bit to the right-hand side, capturing the point right in front of the base. The and then crossing over to the right-hand side, which is essentially the cutoff point for the right-hand side for the southern base. We do have combat engineers and conscripts surrounding them, so I can only assume that this is going to be our first engagement. Have a uh, squad of grenadiers coming up, and they're probably going to start taking shots at these Combat engineers as soon as they see them. Territory does get captured though for helping Hans, and he decides to run away with the combat engineers. Pioneers look like they're doing a dash for the house, so the conscripts, conscripts do win, and they manage to get into the house. Combat engineers are also going to join them inside the house, and I'm assuming the conscripts are going to jump out. Yeah, very nice. That is going to allow the combat engineers to provide fire support while being protected, and the conscripts are going to take the brunt of the assault. The Grenadiers are actually going around and going to jump into the other house, which is also going to be very annoying for helping Hans to get those out of there until, well, Molotovs or something bigger comes along. Flamethrowers is also an option. Pioneers down here getting the decap on this strategic point. They are not going to be able to get the cap before the conscripts jump into the area. They do have the benefit of light cover and the SMGs at closer range, but against the conscripts they're still going to win the fight, or they should. Conscripts decide to back off, allowing the cap to go through. MG42 now in the field for Vindicare, and it is opening up on the house for some reason. It is angled to shoot at the conscripts, but the conscripts did get out of range. That's why he moved them out. Vindicare's flipping around his MG42 to try to catch these conscripts, but a small burst goes off, doesn't manage to catch that conscript out of position, and has to retreat out of the field. Very nice movement by Helping Hans, allowing him to get that superiority on the field with three conscript squads on this side, no less. And that was a very nice reaction by Vindicare to retreat quickly, otherwise he would have very quickly lost that squad. Grenadier squad over here on the north, uh, down to three men. The uh, combat engineer is also still at three men. Looks like they're actually winning the fight. <laughs> yes. Conscripts and Grenadiers engaging almost point blank on the other side of the hay bale. Second squad of Conscripts moving into range to support. The Grenadiers jump out of the house to support their own Grenadier squad. Focusing fire on that Conscript squad down to four men, but now with three Conscript squads on the field, the Grenadiers are on a losing battle. The, ooh, the Conscript squad down to two men actually has to retreat. Very low in health. But now, two on two with one man down on each squad, I believe the Grenadiers are losing this fight. Might be throwing a uh, rifle nade on one of these squads. Decides to retreat, no rifle nade being tossed. Down to one man on this squad, but should be able to make it out. MG42 back on the field, gonna set up and open up on these conscripts. Conscripts getting caught on the wrong side of their cover, getting pinned immediately, or well, retreated immediately. They didn't actually get pinned, but they would have gotten pinned rather quickly. Other conscript squad does move out of the way from the MG42 and is going to go to the left-hand side, it looks like. Combat engineers with a flamethrower already upgraded. 
gonna capture that cutoff point, although they weren't. Well, Helping Hands wasn't actually cut off from his territory because he has the victory point and the munitions, which still gives you control. Scout car now on the field for Helping Hands. Coming up right now, there he goes. Probably we're gonna pick up this flamethrower squad and gonna go harass an MG42. There is only one MG42 on the field for um, Vindicare, so it is gonna be not as useful as it would have been otherwise because Panzerfausts are gonna be a big threat. Still, there is only two Grenadiers which can uh, Panzerfaust, and we do see a quick pick up to tier two. Well, not really that quick. It is five minutes. And we do see Panzer Grenadiers coming onto the field first. Panzer Grenadiers are going to be s extremely vulnerable to this uh, scout car. Flamethrowers opening up on him. Uh, Panzer Grenadiers almost down to half health now, but the Grenadiers looks like they are actually no. They were trying to get into range for that Panzerfaust, but they didn't. Scout car does back up. It's going to get repaired, and we'll be hitting the field in a little while again. Left hand side, we do see an LMG 42 for Vindicare opening up on conscripts which are now garrisoned in this house. Gonna be a while, but with that LMG, they should be able to provide a little bit more firepower and more damage to those units in the house. MG 42 covering the right hand side a little bit. Conscripts do decide to jump out of the house and engage these grenadiers. The scout car is gonna go into range of the grenadiers, it looked like. That is an interesting choice. Well, they didn't actually manage to get the Panzerfaust off. They are trying to chase, and they are now getting intercepted by these conscripts. Gonna get a lot of damage on them. But, uh, no. Still not in range of that Panzerfaust. Might be able to do so now. No, still taking a lot of damage chasing it, so he is gonna retreat it. In the care, that is. MG42 gets flipped around and catches that conscript out in the open. Manages to get it out and retreat. The other squad is very low in health, but full man, fully manned and didn't get any shots in there. Helping Hands does have now a sniper on the field, which is going to be a very nice counter to that MG42. And with that scout car harassing his squads and actually getting a kill on one of the con the, the uh, Grenadiers, it is, is now very looking very bad for Vindicare. Needs to get a uh, scout car on the field probably to be able to combat that uh, M3 with the up gun and uh, also potentially catch the sniper out in the open. And there we go, he is getting himself a scout car, so... Yay, I was thinking the same thing. And very interesting, Vindicare is actually getting his own sniper. Now, it's gonna be interesting to see what he does with it. I mean, obviously, uh, most players consider right now the German sniper to be... a little less than useless, I guess you could say, because since it's only one man, it is not useful for counter-sniping a two-man, you know, Soviet sniper. It can easily get a shot onto that sniper, kill one of the guys, but you know the Soviet sniper will probably get retreated or even potentially counter snipe it easily. And since it's only one man, it's very open to get himself counter sniped quite, quite easily. But we do see the sniper now in the field, so I'm I'm gonna root for him. I mean, it's very nice to see players using uh, more stuff than you would normally see. Uh, so yeah, scout car on the field uh, does not have enough munitions right now to upgrade. The, um, the auto cannon, but I can. Ooh, well actually, that's not looking very good. 18-8 goes on to that scout car. Uh, does get it down to two man though. Very low in health on the scout car. Needs to retreat and get it repaired. Sniper on the field now. It's gonna take some shots at these conscripts potentially. No, it looks like he's just moving around, getting behind this MG42 and gonna probably try to get a counter snipe on that Soviet sniper. He does get into the range of the sniper, is currently cloaked. Takes a shot at the sniper, very nice. Does Helping Hans notice? Ooh, he doesn't notice! He does try to run away and he gets the counter snipe, very nice. I gotta... well, I don't know, maybe this is tacky, but... Sorry if that's too loud, but I gotta clap that to Vindicare. Very nice. You don't usually expect that as a Soviet, and uh, yeah. Helping Hans was distracted elsewhere, wasn't paying exactly attention, and Vindicare got himself a counter snipe. And how much? Well, we'll see that in a little bit. Scout car does get into the uh, mix and is chasing down an MG42, down to two men. Flamethrower does cook the other guy alive, and this guy is very low in health. 
Uh, he is back at the base, so it's basically useless to chase it down. You can kill it and decrew it, but it's gonna get recrewed rather soon. Sniper does run into the heavy cover to get the um, the camouflage, so very nice awareness on that. Ooh, and a uh, nice pickup there. Ooh, actually brutal pickup there. Uh, Vindicare gets a kill on the scout. I mean, yeah, the M3 scout car and kills the engineer in there. So very nice. Another sniper being produced by Helping Hans. He's more than aware now that there is a uh, German sniper on the field. And look at that, with those two kills, it almost uh, vetted up. And at Veteran C1, it says incendiary round, incendiary, fire incendiary explosive round. I actually have never seen this used. It says the sniper fires a B patronin, special explosive incendiary round of such violent effectiveness that it can stun nearby squad mates of the unfortunate target. Ooh, nice, so it's a stun. So you kill the guy and stun the squad. Nice. Interesting ability. I mean, <laughs> I really only know the sprint, you know, ability from the uh, Soviet sniper, so. I think this is the first time I've seen a uh, German sniper being used. Actually, that's not true. I uh, casted that 2v2, but it died very quickly. Ooh, Grenadier with the LMG-42 getting caught in the open by conscripts and uh, guards rifle. Gets a nade on top of it, down to two men, but does hit retreat. And it's gonna make it out of- Ooh, I thought that was a mine from Vindicare. Very lucky uh, squad mate there. He saw his buddy blow up into pieces right in front of him. Look at that. Legs, arms all over the place. Nice rifle down in there on the floor. That was very brutal. So the left-hand side now getting captured by Helping Hands, getting his uh, guards and conscripts over there. The guards rifle squad is down to three men, though, so it's very vulnerable. Uh, we do see that the scout car for Vindicare did actually get taken out. It got taken out over here. We last saw it over here getting 18 aided. I lost track of it because I was focusing on the sniper, so excuse me for that, but I think that the counter snipe was an awesome thing to see. And it is one of the things that uh, the uh, uh, Peter from Relic said in the uh, the Frontline Networks Frontline Networks <laughs> tournament uh, that a German sniper can actually get a nice counter snipe if he is in cover because he is gonna get uh, camouflaged rather quickly. He did mention specifically heavy cover, and we see that over here was only light cover. But, well, Helping Hands wasn't exactly paying attention on that one, and it worked out in Vindicare's favor. So, very nice. Sniper is up to three kills. Uh, still not veteran. But, uh, well, we'll see how he goes with that. Mine's being laid down by Helping Hands. Very nice. Another scout car on the field with a sniper inside of it. So, that is going to be a very... Nice. What is that? Holding, holding fire. Okay, very nice. So, he's using it in the... Oh, interesting. Look at that. If you hit uh, hold fire, he holds the rifle up in his arm instead of just, you know, holding it there. So he is holding the uh, sniper there in the heavy cover to try and get the counter sniper, it looks like. Shot goes in but misses. Interesting. And, uh, well, I completely missed this. So Flak Panzer now on the field for Vindicare. Very nice. That's going to be very effective against all the infantry on the field. For helping hands, he doesn't actually have anything on the field other than the Garth's rifle that can easily combat it. Obviously, uh, 18-8s can still do some damage, but it's not a reliable way to actually kill it. More disable it. But the mine was actually triggered, and that got a heavy engine damage. Uh, Vindicare isn't actually trying to back it up, which is interesting. Obviously, heavy engine damage reduces your speed quite significantly, but, um, you know... Might be a good idea to still back it up. He is moving it now and getting those pioneers in the area to try to repair. Right hand side, we do see the scout car and conscripts engaging uh, MG42 and grenadiers. Flak Panzer is moving in that direction. Although it might be a better idea to stop it right now and try to get the repairs on it because the pioneers are not able to repair it right now on the move. Anyway, Sniper over here hiding in that bush, taking some shots at those conscripts. Conscripts down to two men, getting flanked by that Panzer Grenadier squad, and they're going to get executed on the retreat, and there they go. Nice kill there by Vindicare, nice flank. Oh my god, and that guard... Wait, no, that was the MG42. Oh, there's an ability of the MG42 that is also not heavily used. Um, here we go. It is the incendiary armor piercing round. Incendi fire, sorry, fire incendiary armor piercing rounds. Uh, crew switches to incendiary armor piercing ammunition for better armor penetration and damage. Now, you don't usually see this because the MG42 
two is not usually used uh, as a anti you know vehicle weapon. So most people yes. just use it for suppression. But they do have that ability that you can uh, you know pick up. Yeah. I believe it does require veterancy. But uh, but yeah, if you saw that, it annihilated that scout car. So now we do see the appropriate response by helping Hans. He is getting himself an SU-85 to deal with that Flak Panzer. All his stuff is currently back at base, with the exception of this conscript squad over on the uh, left-hand side. So the entirety of the map is pretty much now in control for Vindicare. He is going around camping, and he has the Flak Panzer, which is going very forward. Going to go harass the enemy base. Um, not a bad idea, considering that he knows that there's nothing on the field, but he is going to get surprised right now by that um, S-285, so I think this Flak Panzer is screwed. We are going to see an 18-8 probably go down on top of it, and a buttoning by these guys. 18-8 does actually damage the engine, and S-285 hits the field, so that Flak Panzer is toast. So, a, a bold move by Vindicare, but, well... Ultimately, not the best option. Could have been a good idea to, you know, just harass from the range and once you saw the SU-85 retreat, but that's fine. Anyway, so a Teller Mine is being placed by Vindicare. Might be a nicely positioned. Both two Teller Mines, very nice. Sniper taking cover by the well and heavy cover is going to be able to stay um, concealed for a long while. The SU-85 is taking shots at it. He does take a shot at the Sniper. Goes back into Cloak. Sniper backs away from the uh, range and avoids the counter snipe. Very nice. Conscript spot on the left hand side. Uh, a little bit of a flank on this Grenadier squad, although the one squad on the north isn't helping, so it's not really much of a flank if it's the only squad. Would only work if it was a uh, support weapon. So, interestingly enough, the SU 85 is still just shooting the ground, maybe trying to get rid of that well. He knows the sniper was there, so he might... He's probably wondering if he's still there. Okay. Right-hand side, Panzer Grenadier is getting engaged by the uh, scout car with another flamethrower in there. They are going to get uh, nicely toasted. It has a conscript squad shooting at them, although how many windows are on that side? There is three men on that side shooting, so still a considerable amount of firepower. Still at four men though, managed to get out of there. Does Vindicare have a medic bunker? Yes, he does, so he's gonna be able to re deploy that squad without any cost. Conscript squad going around capping. Scout car going around capping. So yeah, helping Hans trying to recover part of his lost territory. And where's the sniper? Sniper is over here holding fire. Not getting himself revealed. He is now at this point being very cautious of his sniper, using it only to counter snipe, and that is incredibly smart of him. Wow, helping Hans didn't reinforce his sniper, what? That is incredibly risky. Well, let's let's hope it doesn't bite him in the ass, I mean, that is a very uh, the enemy is attempting easy counter snipe, but oh well. And look at this, we now see Vindicare pulling out the big guns, Pack 43 hitting the field, and also calling in a um, command tank, which is going to provide some defensive bonuses in the territory for the infantry that is there. And again, unless I'm mistaken, that stubby gun on there, on that uh, tank, while not very good against armor, is very good against infantry, or should be, but well. I'm thinking of the uh, Panzer Elite, you know, Panzer IV, but I mean, I wouldn't. I, I would think that would be the case, but oh well. So engagement on the right-hand side. The uh, command tank is moving into position, taking some shots at that scout car. Doesn't actually do anything on that first shot. Second shot goes in. Very nice hit. Brings it down to about 10% health. One more shot takes it away, and that engineer squad is going to retreat. Going to take some damage on the retreat. Probably lose a guy or two at most. Maybe not even in. No, yeah, does lose one of the guys. Yeah, figures. And very nice. SU-85 though is still on the field, it does get shot at by that Pack 43 and is forced to get out of the way. Very nice, Pack 43 actually gets a lot of uh, experience with uh, with that. I'm not sure if it hit anything else, but uh, but yeah. So we now see target weak point would be the uh, Veterancy 1 ability. And he should be able to get that well, rather soon. Mortar going off. This is the 120mm mortar for helping Hans. He did get himself the 
Doctrine to get some the guards rifle, the mortar, mark target, and those T thirty fours. Tired of the map, pretty much in possession of Vindicare though. So it's a very uphill battle now for Helping Hans. Guards rifle conscripts going on the right hand side, getting engaged by these Panzer Grenadiers and a LMG equipped Grenadier squad, which is going to open up almost point blank on these guards rifle. The grenade does go in. Quick reaction by Vindicare, jumps out of the house, jumps back in, and it's going to open up fire again. Panzer Grenadiers down to one man, he's going to retreat, he's going to make it out of there. What's the sniper doing over here? He is simply just around the area, not getting reinforced just yet. And Vindicare Sniper is simply over here, just covering the area, getting covered by that MG-42. SU-85 in the field. What is the range of this Pack 43 It is over here, and it... Oh, I lost it. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> kind of hard to see those lines. So it's right at the edge of the base. Look at that, right at the street. So you see this line right here? He's telling him, you're not going to cross this line. This side of the line, this is my territory. That side of the line, that's yours. Stay in your territory. <laughs> so very nice, very bold move by Vindicare. And so far, very useful. And it's very nice because he has the sniper here, which is going to protect this pack from the Soviet sniper. So the Soviet sniper tried to get in here and take some shots at it. Well, he's going to take some shots back. And the Panzer Command Tank is providing um, defensive bonuses to the uh, the pack, or it was, because it wasn't that aerial. Panzer IV moving to the right-hand side, engaging these combat engineers. We're trying to capture the fuel point. Uh, sector getting bombarded by the mortar, though. Sniper getting... Uh, camouflaged by this little cart there. <laughs> Very interesting. MG42 opening up on the guard's rifle. One of the guys get caught out in the open and is going to have to retreat before they can get that cap. Quite unfortunate. He was right at the edge of the, uh, of the sector. If he had stayed like on this side, he might have been able to do that. Mortar still going down, trying to dislodge that MG42. MG42 does jump out of the house and instead takes a position out in the open. Still getting bombarded though, so it is going to have to move relatively soon. Katusha now on the field for helping Hans. That is going to be very effective. Well, although it is going to be very effective at bombarding probably this, but uh, Vindicare is doing a very nice job at keeping his squad spread out. This is probably the higher concentration. We'll see what he decides to bombard. SU-85 opening up on the Grenadiers that are capturing the victory point. Conscripts and combat engineers engaging a Panzer Grenadier squad, which is still not upgraded with Shrek, so it's very effective against infantry. And at Veteran C2, it does get increased armor. Ooh, nice! Uh, helping Hans is using his Katusha to shoot at the sniper. It looks like he knew he was there. He's trying to get a nice pickup there, but the sniper does retreat rather quickly after seeing those rockets fly at him and makes it out without any damage taken. Grenadiers uh, are getting bombarded and whittled away by that SU-85 and the Sniper. Soviet Sniper now moving into the field, still at only one man, which is interesting. Not sure why, but I guess he needs the manpower. Soviet Sniper takes a shot at that MG-42, and we see that the Sniper for Vindicare is still back at the base, so he's not going to be able to get a counter snipe on that right now. Pioneers getting a small defensive bonus by the Panzer IV there, managed to get a retreat on that Conscript Squad. Still at six man though, but just going to retreat. Mortar round still flying around, being very brutal. MG42 catches those engineers out in the open. It is gonna suppress him and pin him down, but there's more forces over there. Right hand side, guards rifle trying to get that victory point to get chewed away by that Panzer IV. And the uh, Pioneers plus. Uh, nice Katusha barrage going right on top of that MG42. At least he knows that is stable. Ooh, nice shot goes in, kills two of the Pioneers. One of them at least. No, it was two. Two Pioneers and uh, gets one of the uh, MG42 guys, but that is all it does. So. One uh, couple lucky shots there by the Katusha, but overall not as effective. Finally, we do see now that uh, Helping Hans reinforces Sniper, so that's a load, of, uh, a load out of my mind because uh, I was getting very nervous for him. He was, you know, playing it rather loose with that Sniper. 
But still, I mean, while not exactly a pin, because, you know, he doesn't have the cutoff and has him in his face, it is essentially a pin because he has the superior forces here, so Vindicare is keeping Helping Hounds in his space. Very little amounts of territory. He did manage to get this cutoff point and reconnect this other point over here, plus the uh, victory point, but still, not a lot in his favor. The uh, mortar is being very effective. We now see a our railway artillery being called in on top of the SU-85. Ooh, very nice shot goes in. Look at that damage. Almost kills the SU-85. And he has to get him out of there. It did annihilate that uh, Pioneer squad. This mortar squad is very close to that damage and uh, needs to be very careful. Sniper does get taken out, though, so quite unfortunate there for Vindicare. But he is trying to go for that for that SU-85, it looks like. Quite a bold move. The command tank is going forward, trying to get the kill. We do have another Panzer IV on the field for Vindicare, but it's not currently in that engagement. Command tank goes straight at that SU-85, but that was a suicide mission. It doesn't actually manage to get the kill, which is quite unfortunate. He can still call in another one, which he might do, but... He now has a Panzer IV, an actual Panzer IV, going straight at that SU-85. It looks like he wants to get that armor out of the field. He knows he got a nice hit on it, and the armor is very low. And the conscripts are trying to go in for the for the 18-8. Uh, Turns around, takes a shot at the SU-85. He is facing the front armor. But he gets the kill. It's very nice. Very aggressive move by Vindicare. Very ballsy, but he knew how low a pelt it was after that railway shot. And he just couldn't let that go. He couldn't. He couldn't allow that to live after getting that shot on the railway artillery. So now the Panzer IV is in the base, taking some shots at all this infantry. Probably gonna take a shot at that sniper squad. Does get a nice shot in. Gets one of the guys killed. Now opening up on conscripts and the uh, guards rifle. Gonna probably take another 18-8 to the face, but it's now going for the Katusha. Gets the Katusha. So, at this point, it doesn't actually even matter if he loses it. He has done his job. We do see another SU-85 being produced by Helping Hands, and we do see another sniper on the field for Vindicare. It's going to be interesting to see how he uses it. Uh, Blitz. <laughs> Blitz streak being used by Helping Hands, moving around, catching everything he can out in the open. Very nice. Sees that 120mm uh, mortar over on the right-hand side and goes chase it away, gets a retreat on that. All the infantry still on the field, getting railway artillery right on top of the uh, enemy base. Gonna probably kill the uh, tier one building. Well, no, that one actually missed, so quite unfortunate, but... What did it land on? Landed on some carcass or something. And the Panzer Force just backed away. Pack 43, though, did get decrewed, probably by a sniper or something. I didn't check that, but still very nice. Very nice, very aggressive play by Vindicare, taking uh, opportunities where he can. And heavy losses on both sides. We now see a second Panzer IV being produced by Vindicare. That is going to help him out against that SU-85. This uh, Panzer IV needs to get repaired. He is getting repaired right now, so that's very nice. MG-42, uh, very forward, although not uh, sufficiently in range of that conscript squad, so they are going to manage to recapture that territory. Uh, Soviet sniper didn't die, so it's still on the field with two men. There is a German sniper now hitting the field. So we'll see if he can actually get another counter snipe, although to be fair, I think the counter snipe that he got at the beginning was simply because Helping Hans didn't expect it at all. Uh, he does know that he killed the uh, German sniper, so if he... well, actually he's already gotten two kills, so if Helping Hans was checking you know, the uh, logs that you have here, he is probably aware that there is another sniper on the field. So it's going to be very hard, but it is also going to be a deterrent to not be that aggressive with his sniper. So either way, it's not a bad idea to have this sniper on the field. And it's nice to see players using this. One thing to keep in mind of the uh, German sniper is that he retains his cloak a lot... Uh, a longer time. Uh, the Soviet sniper will be cloaked while he is in cover, but like pretty much as soon as they move out of the cover, they will reveal them. Just look at this. Like, right there and out of cover so see while the german sniper he's gonna retain the uh camouflage a little bit out of cover so he can probably run between covers if they're close enough while still being cloaked so 
it isn't uh, by any means a bad unit. It is just underperforming as far as you know against the Soviet sniper, simply because it's one man. Some people want it to be, uh, you know, equal, you know, just make them the same, but, you know, that asymmetry is what makes Company Heroes 2, so it's, let's see if they make some other changes to it to make it uh, even more viable. But so far in this game, I think the Sniper has been an excellent addition to Vindicarex's army. And the year's getting shot at by that SU-85, capturing that victory point, getting also bombarded by the 120mm mortar. Center point also getting taken by guards rifles, so right now Helping Hans is going on a heavy push uh, for the victory points because he is now down to 135 points as opposed to 369 for Vindicare. So he is on the losing end of that uh, victory point war, so uh, he needs to be careful. Sniper on the field taking a shot at those uh, guard rifles. Looks like the combat engineers are being a little bit aggressive, trying to get a flank on the MG42 and probably trying to also get a kill on the sniper. Manages to get the retreat, gets behind that MG42. MG42 needs to retreat, it's only down to two men. Get it out of the care, out of there in the care. He does hit the retreat, down to one man. Is he actually going to make it out? It is a veteran C2, which gains armor or the defensive bonuses. So I think it's going to be fine unless he gets sniped, which he's not going to. Panzer IV being very bold, very uh, forward against that uh, conscript, I mean, uh, combat engineers. And we do see the other uh, Panzer IV now at Vet 2 getting that defensive bonus, getting uh, 18 aided, but does manage to get the jump on that SU 85, and it is now toast. So there is nothing on the field now for Vindic, I mean, for um, helping Hans to stop these Panzer IVs. Another Panzer IV coming onto the field, so that's three Panzer IVs right on top of his base. Railway artillery getting called in. Right on top of everything, I think that is it. Here, one is now dead. If he loses his sniper, he has to rebuild it. Panzer Force is opening up on everything. 20 millimeter mortar gonna be the crude. Large rifle at veteran C3, though, but against, you know, three Panzer Force, not much they can do. And I think that's gonna be it. I think that's gonna be it. And yeah, that is it. Helping Hans decides to throw in the towel. Very nice game, very incredible play by Vindicare, very in innovative, I gotta say, as far as unit usage, mainly by the Sniper. Very nice addition to his army, Pack 43 being very aggressive up front and, you know, denying the movement and the superiority to the SU-85. So, who says that, you know, that strategy is broken, you know, the uh, SU-85s and Sniper spams. Just get your own Snipers and get a Pack 43 and, you know, that, you know, that takes care of that. Sniper can't really go in and, uh, you know, decrew your pack 43 because he's going to get counter sniped by your own sniper. So, very nice. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the cast. If you have any positive or negative remarks, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. If you have any replays you want to send them, send me, that is, uh, go ahead and send them to the email that I will put in the description below. But otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.